One aspect of the study that differentiates it from almost any other study of its kind is that the study is nationally representative. This study goes to children where they live in their homes and goes to mothers where they live in their homes and starts there. The idea is to get a sample that represents the entirety of the, the United States population, that we need to reflect all of the different circumstances that exist in this country, not just those of people who happen to go to particular medical practices. This study will be asking about um, sort of factors that begin even before children are born with what mothers eat during pregnancy and, and you know, what those initial exposures are, feeding practices early in children's lives, exercise patterns, the quality of neighborhoods and the availability of, of places for kids to play safely, all the way down the line. My own involvement as a principal investigator started in 2005, three years ago. Um, when UNC was awarded the contract for the Duplin County Vanguard Center. 105 counties were selected initially for the study in this national design, and they were selected using scientific sampling principles. Um, Duplin County was one of those. Queens and, and Duplin were selected, I think, for a number of reasons. One is that they represent opposite ends of a spectrum, pretty clearly. Queens, very densely populated urban area, 100 languages spoken in Queens. It's pretty impressive. You know, Duplin County, though, has its own diversity and its own, own set of challenges and interests. So they were selected to be opposite ends of a spectrum. I really firmly believe that children are our future and um, that if we want to invest in a, a good life in this country, that we need to invest in our children. We need to provide them um, the, the best possible start in life that, that can be provided with the best possible knowledge about how to do that. And that's what this study is about, really. It's about investing in children.